What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today we are covering a very important topic on the Ask the Dream Team series. And that topic is going to be, does a home theater need carpet? Or can you just use wood or tile? So we get to ask this constantly on a daily basis because a lot of people are trying to put like a designer spin on it. So we're gonna talk about the importance of carpet or is it needed? So we're gonna get into that. Now, if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, we offer a free consultation service at absolutely no cost to you. And we would love the opportunity to earn your business. So reach out and show your support. All right, guys, let's get into this video. Hey guys, this is Zach. Thanks for tuning in for another episode with the Dream Team. I got Chris, that home theater dude, in the house. And we got Kellen with Dream Media here. And we're going to be discussing if you need carpet on your floor in your theater room. I know that sounds very bizarre to a lot of you guys. But believe it or not, we get asked all the time from these designers <laughs> if we could put in wood floors or tile or maybe some other material today we are going to discuss what is recommended from the pros kellen you take over this one um thank you zach i know room acoustics plays a, a bigger part than most people uh think or pay attention to um so one quick way that you can add a lot of value to a home theater or a dedicated space is by doing carpet a large throw rug if you do already have hardwood um you know if this is more of a retrofit but carpet uh, adds a lot of absorption it can cut down a lot of the reverb in the room um i would say that carpet is not a necessity um, but it definitely is a cheaper way to help the room acoustics in a space yeah says the guy that doesn't have uh, any acoustic treatments in his, uh, <laughs> his living room. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so there, there, there is a lot of merit to what Kellen was just talking about. And you don't have to go crazy and have these Armageddon type things on your wall. One, it doesn't look the best. Two, there's probably best, better things out there that will perform you know, better to help tame that slap echo, to help tame that decay and help pinpoint your, your speakers. Because legitimately, the best thing you can do for your, your room is to treat it whether it be like carpet on the floor, a throw rug, or maybe even just adding furniture, adding stuff in there that's gonna help break up that, uh, that, that additional, um, help break up those, those sound waves before they get back to your ears. So now um, with, with the acoustic paneling, you can do that as well, but carpet, I've seen it on the walls and I've seen it on the, the floors as well. It's not necessarily necessary, but there are a ton of solutions that you can do that can really help your overall experience that you're going to have with those speakers. I would think that the my experience with acoustic treatments is you can spend more on, um, you can get more of a return on treating your room versus buying a more expensive uh, set of speakers or buying a more expensive amplifier. You know, it, it pains me to agree with that, but I was about to state the same thing. You know, obviously we're all about selling uh, equipment to you guys, but I tell my customers consistently all the time that if, if you got a $3,000 center speaker and tile floors and basically a room like this, you're not doing that speaker justice. It's not gonna sound as good as it possibly could. You're gonna get tons of reverb and it's gonna sound like a $500 speaker. Exactly, and, and, that, and that's something that we're, we're, we're actually striving to, to achieve. Cause I know that, you know, in the beginning we kind of just sold, you know, systems to you guys and put them in, but now we're, we're really getting into the more premium type offerings. So we're, we're, we're really starting to jump full into room acoustics and, and treatment and things like that. So stick around in the channel cause we're gonna actually start explaining this stuff you know, from beginning to end, whether it be like you want to go into a full design service or if you just want a good enough type system that'll work for most people's applications. So we're going to be designing a couple different tiers of systems, as well as having that more custom one to where you want your room designed and 100% treated to where it's going to sound the absolute best. So stay tuned to the channel. We're going to get into that in just a little bit. Yeah, it's 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 really tough for us guys because we're trying to run a company here and offer um, value and performance all the way across the board at all different price points and it's tough because we itemize our quotes which you guys love but what happens is is by the time we get to the bottom line 
there's just no money left for acoustics. And it, it, it's something that everybody on YouTube is constantly calling us out for and something that we hate as well. It just is always that after fact. They're like, well, you know, my wife gave me this budget. We agreed that we're going to spend X amount of money and we'll add the acoustics in later. It's just not that important. Well, <laughs> because we get analyzed so much on this YouTube channel, we're actually, and you guys got to stay tuned. Like Chris said, we're going to be creating packages that even though they may not be the best acoustic treatments, we're going to try to, with every package, start selling some type of acoustics because there's just too many people that aren't doing it after the fact. Because you're leaving too much on the table. I mean, like you, you spend your money and you buy these speakers. I mean, think of how, how much better it could sound if it was properly treated with, you know, just even the bare minimum. So, I mean, like, like anything we were talking about in the last couple of videos, you know, going to, you know, crazy levels of when's good enough for, for a home theater. Yeah. Well, really, when is good enough for your acoustics? I mean, it matters. Uh, we haven't necessarily showed it that much in the past, but we really are striving towards making a commitment to strive for excellence moving forward. And, and we're, we're, we're going to be showing that pretty soon. All right. That is a wrap on does your home theater need carpet? Or is wooden tile good enough? Well, I hope we answered that question in this video. Guys, if you would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. We have all the industry leading manufacturers to choose from and we itemize our quotes and we have a free consultation service. And uh, you gotta subscribe to the channel, guys, because we got tons of home theater videos. I go into people's home theaters all over the country. You know we are nationwide. So reach out, guys. That's all I got for you today. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Oh my gosh, is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? What? Wait. Dream Media, come back! We need you!